when you're narrowing down your school list and looking into how to submit these supplements, most schools use an online platform called Slide Room. And this is a place where you will just upload your supplements, whether they be videos, PDFs or scores, and or writings, photos of your art, things like that. It'll be uploaded to Slide Room, but every school has their own individual way of handling art supplements. So that leads me into this question that Zion G asks, should you send an art supplement if you apply to a lesser known, more local college? Not all colleges accept art supplements. So what you should do is you should look into, does my school accept art supplements? So, right. You can't necessarily even submit one. However, suppose your school does allow you to submit art supplements, should you submit them? Once again, it's the same kind of thing. If you think that you are very talented in relation to the other students who are applying to this college, then submitting an art supplement will help you. If you think your talent is average compared to the other students who are applying to this school, it will not help you. Of course, when it's a lesser known, more local college, the, in general, the average talent level will be a little bit lower than with the elite colleges. But yeah, the same kind of rule applies. Just the way that you judge, am I up to snuff with this, can be modified a little bit to that specific college. But once again, you should look search for your that specific college, search college name art supplement, and you'll see whether or not they take an art supplement. So submitting art supplements to elite colleges. I have to rip the Band-Aid off early and be completely honest with you. Unless you are exceptionally talented at the art form that you are hoping to apply with, music, writing, drama, dance, visual art, Unless you are exceptionally talented at that art form, do not submit an art supplement. Why am I telling you this? This feels a, a little bit sad. Art supplements will be sent directly to the faculty at that university who handle that art form. So if you submit a video of your playing piano, the, that supplement will be sent directly to the music teacher or a, a, someone in the faculty of music at that school. If they really like your video, that's great. And that will help your admissions quite a bit because they will then report back to the admissions officers and say, oh yeah, this person, they're an excellent musician. Let me give a couple examples of still more elite schools that don't take art supplements. The University of Southern California and Boston University and Northwestern University, they all don't take, at least they don't take music supplements. I believe they also don't take other art supplements. So in that case, you just don't submit them. And part of that is because they have separate schools for different arts, art forms. Boston University has the College of Fine Arts. Northwestern has the Beenan School of Music and Art Department. USC has the Thornton School of Music. So they don't actually take music supplements. But a lot of these schools offer dual degree programs, in which case you could apply to both the, the main institution and also then get a degree in music. Some of these schools, you have to apply to the main school and then you submit a separate application to the music school. Northwestern is like that. Rice, I believe, is like that. Where you submit the main Common App application and then additionally, you say, all right, here's, here's the extra application. 